decided the direction I was going was in fashion during my MA. I grew up wanting to be creative and be in design, but not necessarily fashion. I think, you know, as soon as you start selling and as soon as you start challenging yourself creatively and as soon as I realized that this is what I want to do, then you become really ambitious about it and then I think you grow. This season, it's um, kind of divided into color stories. So it has white, it has ivory, it has red, it has yellow, it has green, it has blue, it has, it has black, we've never done black. And part of each story is finding objects that you'd use in an everyday way that you would never think you would want to wear or that you'd elevate them to something as precious. And in terms of embellishment, we thought it would be really interesting to do embroidery that it's a little bit more surreal than what we've done before, which was more picking up the colours. And so that's really exciting because it's using, obviously, uh, the print as a base, but then doing something that's 3D with it. Season, we're working with uh, Swarovski elements in a slightly different way. For example, um, an embroidery that's based on kind of a tornado of pencils and that's done with, I guess, a, a translation of what the pencil will be and building up the image square by square with the crystals. Lesage first time in January. We have a lot of pieces in the collection that a lot of people are labelling as demi couture and for me it's just pieces that have a higher level of finishing and a high level of craftsmanship and so it's amazing to have somebody who's able to bring that kind of depth to your work and you know take it to that place and Lesage really signifies that. It's not just about catching light this season, it's about making a piece that's quite out there and really reflects what the collection is about.